With his views on sustainability, we're very happy to be joined by SG Tech Chair Wang Waiming. Now, Waiming, how urgent is the need for the tech sector to transition to more sustainable strategies? Very urgent and important, but it's not just for the tech sector. It's everyone, every business, every country's responsibilities. If you look at all the reports that's coming, we are going to miss the 1.5 degree scenario. We're probably going to miss, hopefully, not the 3 degree scenario. Specific for technology sector, I believe there's two areas that tech can help. First, yeah, is really applying tech solutions, technology, developing them to solve for climate problems and solutions itself. Second, tech can actually get together as an industry to aggregate significant demand to provide this meaningful offtake, to catalyze investment in green infrastructure, to really accelerate the whole energy transition curve itself. So it's not really a dichotomous dilemma itself, is really having a creative view uh, on the solution itself, taking a different view and how do we collaborate across, you know, within industry, across industry, public-private, you know, collaborations and cross borders too. Now, earlier in this episode, we heard about the massive demands that generative AI makes on data centers and for them to become more sustainable. Is this happening fast enough? I would say in data center, even if you hit the theoretical limit, of a PUE of one. It's still a very big one in energy demand itself. Yeah, I would say for newer data centers in the build, everyone is pushing the envelope in terms of efficiency. But back to the one itself. And it's very similar to you know, how can industry get together within the industry. I believe with the significant demand for data center, especially with AI coming on board, that can provide a meaningful offtake to really accelerate investment for green energy.